One of my absolute favorite things about Minecraft is the ability to use our imagination to create and build in unique ways. When we don't have chairs or tables, we use other blocks to create the same effect. That being said, my name is System Z, and here are 10 different build hacks using beds in Minecraft. If you enjoyed the video and want to support my channel and help me make videos in the future, consider becoming a member where you'll be invited to my Minecraft and Discord servers, as well as have a chance to help me with new videos through exclusive community posts. Click the join button below for more information, and also thank you to those of you who have become a member since my last video. How's it going everybody and welcome to 10 different ways to use beds in Minecraft. We are going to start with very basic designs and work our way up. These are a collection of the different ways I make beds and even use beds to create more furniture and other types of cool building hacks. So I'm really excited to show you these today. Let's go ahead and get started with design number one, which is actually over here. This is more of an example of a basic bed. Obviously with a basic bed, this is is really all you would get but it doesn't have to be that way you can easily decorate it as simply as putting signs on the base to get a baseboard that's a very simple design for a footboard but it looks good and just adds a little bit more detail to the room like I said we're starting super simple today so that's essentially it for this one let's move on to the next next up you can essentially do the same thing but stack them on top of each other and you get a nice tucked away bunk bed so if you're on a multiplayer server and sharing a base with somebody this is a great way to save space by simply not having you know two different spaces taken up by beds and just stack them and you can really go as high as you want and if you add some signs on there and a ladder you get a really nice bunk bed design but I've got something even cooler for a bunk bed design up next so this one's a little bit more complicated but honestly totally worth it this is a really really cool decoration and it would go great in a bedroom so as you can see we've got a bed here on top I guess you could call this a bunk bed but it's more of a tucked away office space with a bed on top so in a way you've got a loft and then a nice little desk underneath and as you can see we've got a minecart in here so you're actually able to sit at the desk and read or write whichever you want to do essentially in this area and the great thing is because it's a you actually can read so if you're one of those players who likes to actually write novels in the game this is a great way to do it it's a fantastic little writing space and it looks really really cool obviously you could just do a stair here if you'd rather have that for the chair but if you actually do want to sit in it a minecart works perfectly and of course you can use any bed you can place some storage here instead of bookshelves it's very versatile there's a lot of different ways you can decorate it but it's really really effective it's a great decoration now I promise that not everything in this video is just a different way to make a bed because otherwise this would be a completely different video. That being said, let's take a look at probably our last bed design and that is a canopy bed. Now for a warning, if you build something like this, you are going to want to do it in a very large room. This is a great way to take up space, it's a very very large build and as you can see it essentially has an overhang with a nice cloth wrapping around it. I think this is a fantastic design, plus it's a great way to mix in a couple of the essentials. We've got a crafting table, obviously a chest here, you can even add a furnace there instead of a bookshelf. There's a lot of different ways you can decorate this with the essentials of survival while still getting a nice look. Plus, it's completely personable. You can essentially get different colors of the bed. You can do different blocks. There's just so many different ways to decorate it. And that's why this is probably one of my favorite ways to make a bed. But that being said, let's move on to some of the more interesting things. Next up, I'm totally stealing an idea from my friend Mythical Sausage. He built this on the Artisan SMP server back when we played together and I really liked it and that's why I wanted to include it. So this is essentially a hammock. We've got a swing kind of hanging from the tree and I've placed the bed on top. This is excellent if you're working outside and if you're kind of starting out in your world, this is a great way to build a very small starter base. Now obviously it's not that protected, any mob could just come up to you, but that's why you would have the bed, you would just sleep it away. And you gotta admit, this is a really really nice tree design. Let me know if you'd like a tutorial for doing stuff like this because it's super super cool. But as you can see I've got some decorations, we've got a bin filled with apples, some storage 
storage. This is just a very basic way to survive the first few days of your survival world. Or if you're off building in a new area, this is a great way to kind of build a building center where you store all of your items and sleep while you're constructing. Plus, this just looks really cool. I love the idea of having kind of a bed swing. It's really, really cool. But anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. As a side note, let me know if you're enjoying this video. I definitely want to make more of these types of building hack videos because it seems like you guys really, really like them and I really do love building. But that being said, this one's really cool and I really like what I've done with this cave. It's supposed to resemble kind of camping outside. This is something I've seen a couple of people do, but I think it's really, really cool. And it's essentially a sleeping bag. If you place a bed underground and then of course add some carpet on top and make it a little bit longer, it just looks like a really nice sleeping bag this would go great beside a campfire and you can customize it with different colors so there's a lot of really cool stuff you can do with it I know this is kind of extreme but I kind of like to go extreme and I really like building outdoorsy settings so I really like the way this all came together so hopefully this will inspire you with some really really cool ideas did somebody say they want a three-in-one deal because that's exactly what we've got here I promised that we wouldn't do another bed but I lied and I'm very sorry about that that, but it's completely worth it. This is a really, really cool bed design. Now, if you're anything like me, then you like to build beds like this, because let's face it, a character of my size is probably gonna fit a little bit better in something like this than like this. But you can easily hide the bed underneath the carpets and wrap it up with some trap doors to hide it. And I think it looks really, really good. Plus it works very well. And you can even hide some storage and something else. Now this is really cool. If you go up to this block and open it, it'll push you down. And then you can get some snow and of course go down. We've got some scaffolding and this is where our secret headquarters is. In this case, just a, you know, ender chest, but that's super cool. The only problem is I really don't know how to get out. So you'll have to figure that part out, but it's still a really cool idea. I just came up with it. Now the next one and pretty much everything else requires commands or the debug stick, but don't leave because trust me, they're really cool. And if you ever you find yourself building in creative mode, I really recommend doing these. They're really cool. So this is a great way to build a pet bed. Essentially, if you use the set block command, you can set a bed in one single space, place a trap door behind it, and of course, any pet that you have will sleep on it, especially a cat, because obviously they do lay on beds. I think this is a really, really adorable pet design and a great way to build one. So that is essentially it for all of these. Let's move on to the really, really cool stuff. Okay, so I kind of lied. This one actually does not require any hacks at all. You can build this in survival mode. Mode. A very easy, awesome looking sofa. So the problem with the bed as a sofa is that it's got this side, the pillow side. And unfortunately, when you're building a sofa, that doesn't look too great. But if you use armor stands to get iron helmets, they kind of look like pillows and blankets. So it kind of works. This is a great way to build a basic sofa without any hacks at all. But trust me, it's totally worth using hacks because it looks really cool. You'll see that here in just a moment. But if you do want to build a completely survival friendly sofa, this is a great way to build one. Plus, you could even build a love seat by using one and then of course put the pillow on that side. All I've done here is essentially placed an armor stand underneath using the normal armor stand tactics of putting snow underneath. You know how the drill goes. But this is a really, really cool looking sofa. Now, I know what you may be thinking. This is a really familiar design. Z, didn't you do this already? Well, the answer is sort of. I did do something like this in a furniture video recently, but the table is not the point. The point is the chair. And as we get a little bit closer, you can see that there's some really, really cool tricks being done here using one part of a bed. Now, similarly to the pet bed, what I needed to do is set a piece of a bed, which again, you can use the set block command, no matter whether you're in Java or Bedrock Edition, to place one piece of a bed. And then of course you can get the door, place it on the back, some signs on the side and a banner of your choice, and you get a really, really nice looking chair, which can also be used as a throne. There are just so many different ways to use it, even as a stool or just a chair. There's just so many different things, so many different designs of chairs using this collaboration of blocks. And the great thing is you can personalize it. You can change the color in any way that you like. And that is why that is my new favorite chair design. Oh, you know I had to save the best for last. You absolutely know I had to save the best for last. And unfortunately, it does require commands, 
but it's seriously the best way to use beds in the game. And I don't think you're ready for it, so I'm not going to show you. I'm just kidding. Let, <laughs> let's check it out. So this is the best way to build a sofa in Minecraft. This is the absolute best way that I know of to build a sofa. Now, like I said, it does require commands. All I've done is use the set block command, just like I did with the chair and the pet bed, to essentially create this configuration of a sofa. And like I said, it is the best way, because you can do any color that you want, you can choose any form of trapdoor on the back, any other block, in any configuration, any shape, any setting, any time of a build. So if you want to build medieval or modern, you can do it using this design. This is the best way to build a sofa. And that's really all I have to say on it. I could keep repeating myself. And yes, it does require commands. You can be in Bedrock, Java Edition, it doesn't matter, but it is completely worth it. So if you're building in creative or you're allowing yourself to cheat in survival, this is a really cool way to use beds. And that's essentially it for all of these ideas. Let me know which is your favorite and what you thought of all of them down in the comments below. That's gonna be it for today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing and turning on notifications to be alerted whenever I next upload a video. Also, let me know which design was your favorite in the comments down below. And like I said, that's gonna be it for today. My name has been System Z. You guys have been awesome and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.